going to show you a little bit about Facebook ads. I know that some people have um, questions about getting started with Facebooks and what the advantages are of Facebook ads. So I thought a little overview would be really helpful to kind of review what it is that you're working with and you can kind of understand how you might be able to apply it to your own website and your marketing. So first of all, why Facebook ads? Why would you use Facebook to drive traffic or to purchase ads um, to your website? Well, Facebook offers some of the best tools for targeting a market specifically. So if you're targeting um, women ages uh, 40 to 55 and they maybe have a common interest of, I don't know, um, Martha Stewart or Oprah Winfrey and they're married, for instance. If you want to target that kind of woman for your, for your website, if you know that that specific person might be very um, responsive to whatever you're offering on your website, then you can really target that particular person on Facebook. You can select the ages, you can select the interest to target, you can select whether they're married or not married, or if they've been married for one year or so. So you can do all these things as well as demographics, as well as where they live. You can truly target who you want to um, uh, speak to with your ads. And that's specific targeting that you can't even get with Google. Google you can get down to um, the geographic area, but to get to like the age of a person, the gender and interests, there's just nothing that doesn't like Facebook. So for, you know, if you're a life coach or if you're selling destination weddings or if you have something that's, um, you know, interesting to people that would be on Facebook, this is a great way to get started. So how do you get started then? Okay, when you go to Facebook, uh, up near wherever your name is, you'll see a drop down menu that says your ads. And you can create an ad or you can manage ads. Now I'm going to open up one of my ads that I already have created so you can see um, what goes into it. Um, and then we'll go through creating an ad. So these are the ads I have. Now um, some of these are old, these were from last year. I just I have one that's scheduled to start as of um, this coming week. So um, you can schedule them for whenever you want. Um, you can set the start date, the end date, you can set your budget. You can also, um, so I have a $7 daily budget for this ad, this particular ad. I've also set the price per click. Um, if you go into this ad, you can see here um, my price per click. I've set it at $0.30. Cents. Um, I have two ads that are going and the price per click is $0.30. Cents. Now that's not a lot of money at all, right? With a $7 budget, like I'm keeping this really low. I'm, I'm just testing something out right now. So um, at this point, I'm just throwing money out there to test. But you can at least see um, how this sets up. Now, when you set up an ad in Facebook, they're going to give you a recommended price, uh, recommended bid cost per click for your ad. And it's going to be something like $1.85 to $3.60 or something like that. They're going to tell you something that's like double or triple what you really need to set your bid at. So you don't need to set it at that price. You can set your cost per click at you know, 40 cents, 50 cents, 30 cents, 80 cents, whatever. The higher the price per click, um, the higher or more prominently placed your ad will be. Um, but again, like it doesn't need to be much more, unless it's super competitive and you're really going for um, a huge, huge audience of like, you know, a million or something, um, then you'd have to throw a lot of money at it. But if you really target it down to where you have you know, 200,000 people that this ad could be um, targeting, then you don't need to set your bid nearly as much. And it's really helpful to get that specific because you do have the opportunity to show up on their page. Um, this ad I actually have very specific. I'm targeting uh, people that have Tony, or not Tony Robbins, Frank Kern, uh, Evan Pagan, and uh, Brendan Bouchard listed as an interest because I really want to target internet marketers because this is a webinar I'm offering um, to teach people about search engine optimization. So I really want to get very specific and I'm just playing around with my targeting right now. But I just want to show you that you don't need to set your cost per click um, any more than or as much as what Facebook is recommending. Um, now you, when you create an ad, you would just go to the drop down menu by your name that says uh, create an ad if you're starting on your home page. You create an ad and I just lost my page. So you go to create an ad and here you're going to tell it where to go. Now, in the case of the ad I've set up, I have it going to um, a page I've created on Facebook itself. So I made a page for um, my webinar, and that's where I'm going to direct the ad to. Now, why did I do that? I did that because Facebook is kind of stringent about some of the ads they accept. 
One week they'll accept anything you submit to them, the next week they won't submit anything. And they're really picky about like opt-in pages or landing pages that encourage you to sign up with an email. They're quite leery about that. So if you want your ad to get accepted, one of the best ways to do that is to make a Facebook page and put your content on that page. Facebook likes to promote ads that go to its own website, right? Like that's pretty much a no-brainer. So it will usually accept those ads unless they're just blatantly um, spamming. Um, so anyway, if you're setting up an ad to encourage an opt-in um, to get people to enter their email, you might want to set it up on a Facebook page to get that ad approved. Um, but you can try your own website, whatever you prefer. So you're going to enter the destination URL. After that, um, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and set this up. I'm just going to put in um, that page just for instance. Okay, so after you put in the page, you're then going to be able to put the headline. So um, this is a destination wedding page. Okay, um, I'm now 11 characters over the limit. So, uh, so just for instance, this is just for the purposes of this. I'm going to eliminate a lot of words. So that's a really stupid headline, but this is just so you can see it. So there's the headline. You type the headline, then you can get your text. Now you don't. You have 90 characters of text. That is not a lot. So the headline's got to be good, and the text has got to be compelling. You don't have a lot to play with. So make it good. You might study other ads that are out there that you think are quite compelling and look at how they structure their copy and see if you might find something there that you can use for writing your own ad. You might also Google um, successful Facebook headlines to be able to get some ideas for that. You can upload an image to go with it and um, you can then uh, you can relate another page to it if you want. Now here's where we get into choosing the audience. So I'm going to target the United States. I can now choose the age that I want to hit. I can say men or women. And now I can uh, select an interest. I might say um, they have an interest of weddings, for instance. Uh, weddings, whatever. Weddings. There you go. Uh, four weddings and a funeral. That's a, a web um, a movie. I could target a person that likes that movie, right? Um, uh, my Big Fat Greek Wedding. That's a movie, right? So I'm going to target people that list that as an interest and they also have weddings listed as an interest. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down and I can target, I can have advanced targeting options as far as if they're in a relationship or not. And I can target their education level, workplaces, things like that. And here's the campaign. Now you can title it and then you can set your per day amount. Um, you can also schedule it. You can start and end it instead of running it continuously. And then you can set your cost per click. Um, again, here, see how they automatically have $2.17 in for my cost per click. And their suggested bid is up to like $4.26. Um, that's a lot. So I would set this at like $0.40 cents probably. Um, and then you place your order. And when you hit place order, it'll go into um, um, a waiting list for Facebook to then review your ad, check it out, make sure it's all legit, and then they'll approve the ad or not. Um, don't be surprised if your ad gets um, not doesn't get approved. Um, that happens quite a lot, so just go back and look at your ad, see if you can tweak it. Um, at, they often tell you why they didn't approve it, so you can just take their comments and integrate them and then submit a new ad. But that's how you set up a Facebook ad. And again, um, if we look at, I'm just going to uh, navigate away and go back to the homepage. If you look at ads on Facebook, you'll see what, what seems like it's fascinating to you or not. Let's, uh, let me try to get to the homepage here. Um, okay, so here's the homepage. Now I have this huge thing there. Um, where are the ads? Here are the ads, right? Um, now, obviously, if you're like me, you may not ever cr click on these ads, but every once in a while, there's an ad. Notice these images. Notice how they stand out, especially this one. I immediately look at this one, right? That's a table lamp. Now, that looks pretty darn cool. It looks like a paint bucket. That's awesome. Like, I would probably click that because that looks cool, right? So ads do work if you get the right copy and the right photo. Um, sweet and low. Um, I'm not really interested in that one, but this one's cool. Like, I would actually click that. Um, 
So these will just, you know, you'll see these and you'll start to notice what works for you. What appeals to you? What images appeal to you? What headlines appeal to you? What descriptions, you know? Um, and just start to take note of what really appeals to you. Same within Google. Um, you can look on Google and figure out what appeals to you and what doesn't. But anyway, that gives you an overview and we'll for talk setting up a time. Facebook ad so Thank you can get you. started and hopefully start driving more traffic to your opt-in or your landing page or your webinar that you want to set up or whatever it is. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me uh, a comment below or send me an email and we'll talk to you next time. Thank you.